You know how you come up with different methods of work? Or jigs and setups and all kinds of different things that you that you do at at certain periods of your shop or your woodworking career anyway. I came up with this little system here with these extrusions to hold my work and and be able to route or do anything I want in an open area. And it, uh, I got a comment from one of my uh, YouTube subscribers asking me, well, if you do it like this, won't the tool uh, shake the work free? And I, I had to agree with them that it probably would. So I'm going to try it. I've got my this work piece that's already all cut up with these handles, but I still want to be able to get a couple of, of uh, nuts for a uh, be-all wood threading project I've got going on here. This allows me to do that. I can get to this area here. It's level with my tape board and it's held in place uh, nice and solid, I hope, with these wedges. Uh, the good news is uh, nothing moved. It's still solid and I'm happy about that. So I think that uh, my initial test here uh, worked out well. Now let's cut the right file. All right, that went much better and uh, everything is still solid. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what's happening here. Uh, the only thing that I can see is that this is just a little bit thinner. I put should put a shim underneath there to keep that from falling down because it, uh, I can feel it when the router goes over that little and hole. I put this piece of tape on here. I don't even need it. So I'm, I'm going to take that out and I'll do the rest of these. Uh, this one is a little bit small which is okay. I'd rather it be, I'd rather it be, uh, this be small than too big. So I'm going to take this and uh, I'll massage this end with some sandpaper to get a nice fit here. Very little sanding. Uh, this was, this bolt was ten thousandths oversized. I could have compensated for that with my shaper but I didn't measure this before I cut my my piece but this just took a like I said just very little sanding to get it to get started then you can see the result this is that is a friction fit no glue that's gonna work out great so I thought I'd try one and let it drop to the floor the problem is this is too small the vacuum sucks it up and you can see here where the bit took a bite out of it right there so I, I, I learned a lesson and I hope that that will help you guys out too especially with these small parts don't let them drop create a little tab so that they uh, you can get a clean cut like this one I mean yeah it's got ragged, ragged fuzzies but there's my tab Everything else is nice and clean. So all in all, I think this is nice. Uh, a, a good setup. I'm, I for, had kind of forgotten about this until I got that uh, uh, question from my subscriber. So I'm going to use this more often. Thanks for watching.